With this video I want to show you how to create a static website using Node.js as the server model. This type of implementation is ideal for a simple website containing just a few pages. Despite that, I must warn you that you are going to miss out on the templating engine that I promoted in the introduction video. Hi, I'm Ben Plesier and, like you, a fervent user of Wappler. In Wappler, I click on the new project icon. If this is your very first time using Wappler, you may not see this icon. Instead you may be confronted with this screen. If that is the case then you would choose to click on, create a new Wappler project. Either way, we'll bring up the same dialog. I choose a blank site. Here I enter the name of the project. The project needs a folder to reside in. Because Wappler will create a local server inside the project folder, I can create the folder anywhere on my system. In this case I will create the folder on the desktop. Normally, I would create the project folder in a directory dedicated to my projects. I usually give the folder the same name as the name of the project for easy identification. I keep the default hosting and choose Node.js as the server model. When I click the Save button, Wappler wants a confirmation for the installation of the node packages. Depending on the processing speed of your system, this will take about 2 minutes. In the meantime, you may be wondering why I called the project, Junk. This is because I already regret producing a static website in a Node.js project. Node.js can do so much more. The reason why I promised to create this site is because several Wappler community visitors have asked for this. As an aside, I will leave the link to the community below. Having said that, there may be occasions where you will need static pages in your project. I will probably create a couple in future videos, but they will be part of a dynamic site. It looks like Wappler is still grinding away. This will give me a chance to get rid of the dynamic pages that have been created by Wappler. If left, they will interfere with the static version of the site. I remove both of the dynamic sites that Wappler has automatically created. In the site manager, I remove the index page. Under layouts, I remove the main layout. The next step is to set the project up. Clicking on the pencil icon shows the project settings dialog. Under the general tab, I leave all of the default settings with the exception of the routing which I turn off. This is not needed for this project. Under the frameworks tab, I again leave the default values. Under the targets tab, all looks fine so I leave the default settings. A note about the web server URL. This will work only when the server is running. To verify that the server is running, you will need to see a green icon at the bottom of the screen. Wow! Wappler has just finished creating the server environment in time for me to show the green icon. When you open a different Node.js project, the same web server URL is applied. This is because each Node.js project possesses its own server. As you close a Node.js project, the server will also shut down. Test the connection. Save when done. The last part takes us to creating site content. First, I will make a couple of adjustments to Wappler. I close the bottom panel. And choose static in the project folder. For the first page, I click on the create page button. The page properties dial prompts me for a name for the page. This first page is the landing or home page. I will call it index. Why index? Web servers are set up to display a default file in case no file name is given. The main purpose is for security. To explain. Say a user enters wappler.io in the address bar of the browser, no file name, no default file name. This would take the user to the directory structure of the site. To stop this from happening, web servers are set up to direct the user to a default page, universally called index.html or .php. Or whatever the server model. The type is a content page. No layout or template page. The description is left to your imagination. I usually leave this blank. Saving the settings, tells Wappler to create the page. The page will include the frameworks that were stipulated when the project was set up. To add content to the page, I click on the plus sign in the middle of the document. In most cases, a dialog will appear with the blocks tab selected. Most web pages will have a navigation bar. So I go ahead and select a menu bar. After the header that was created for the navigation bar, I add some random content. This content is for demonstration purposes only.
I'll even make you welcome. According to the navigation bar, I need two more pages. This is where I speed the video up. The creation of the other pages follow the same procedures as the home page. For the last part of this video, I will add links to the navigation bar. I do this by selecting the menu item and in the properties panel, selecting the file. I speed the video up while this needs is repeated for each of the other pages. I apologize for hastening over the content of the pages. The main aim of this video is to create a static site, not creating content for the pages. To test the creation, I open the page in the browser. Here we see that it is functioning as intended. In the next video I will create a dynamic website, complete with a template and routing. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.